एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू नान बाई दिस इज मी अंकिता एंड टुडे आई एम गोन शो यू हाउ टू मेक लेमन कर्ड नाउ लेमन कर्ड इज वन ऑफ माई पर्सनल फेवरेट्स आई मीन यू कैन पेयर अप लेमन कर्ड विद ऑलमोस्ट एनी थिंग यू कैन यूज इट इन केक्स कप केक्स थाट्स शू पेस्ट्री पफ पेस्ट्री फिलो पेस्ट्री एनी थिंग लिटरली इट इज सो यूनिवर्सल एंड इट्स सो ईजी टू मेक यू नो इट्स वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट components to make when you're baking so i'm going to show you this recipe today which is super easy super tangy and delicious really silky smooth and i'm going to walk you through each and every step and tip and trick that is required to get a nice smooth and silky lemon curd so talking a little bit about the ingredients for the lemon curd Um I'm using some freshly squeezed lemon juice right here. I've strained it so it doesn't have the seeds or you know the pulp. And um I like using lemon zest. You will see a, you know few recipes some have lemon zest some don't. I personally like using lemon zest a lot. It gives that extra punch you know that extra tang to it. Then of course we have granulated sugar and um here so this is egg yolks and eggs both of them combined together. Now the reason um I like using egg yolks in the recipe is of course because it makes the uh, lemon curd more richer. So that and then we have butter which we're going to add right at the end and I have cubed it into small pieces. Um also one thing that I like doing is I like adding gelatin to the lemon curd. I'm using sheets over here, the gelatin sheets uh, which I will tell you how to bloom them. you could use a gelatin powder um i will mention the details like how much gelatin powder is equivalent to these two sheets in the description so do read it you know down below in the description and i will also explain how to bloom the powdered gelatin so uh let's get started i guess so first i am going to pour the lemon juice into a pan so some recipes you will see that they say you can cook the lemon curd over a double boiler um if you're actually careful and constantly stirring the lemon curd you can cook it directly i like it cooking like cooking it directly reason being because it gets done more quickly uh, over a double boiler it can take for ever so i like cooking it directly and i'll show you how to not how to not burn the lemon curd so lemon juice and then the zest So we are going to strain this once it's done. So the zest will get strained out, but for now it will cook along and leave that extra flavor. Then the granulated sugar. Take everything out. Precisely measured ingredients, and the eggs and the egg yolks. In we go. So, using a whisk, let's just whisk it up. So I'm just trying to break the eggs here. That's what I'm doing because you know you could see the yolks and everything. So I'm just trying to mix everything together before I take it on uh, the stove. So that's it. Everything is, you know, the yolks are broken and everything is mixed up. So now I'm going to start heating this up on, um, let's say, medium heat. You can go a little bit more than a medium, but not medium high. So medium, little more than medium kind of heat. we can start cooking this at that temperature. So I put that on the stove. I'll just get there to that in a minute, but I in the meantime I also want to bloom the gelatin. That is very important. It takes a while to bloom. Now, in this glass, I have some ice cold water. In fact, I have put a couple cubes of ice in it just so that it is extra cold. And all I'm going to do is just take these these two sheets one at a time and dump it in the water and make sure it's totally submerged you don't want any part of the sheet to be you know kind of popping up so into the cold water nicely there we go and this should take about 5 minutes basically they'll be all soft and slimy and you just squeeze the water out which will come to eventually so now in the properly submerged in there and that's it the gelatin is blooming and we can continue stirring the lemon curd so like i said the heat on medium and 
we just stir this continuously and not stop even for a second because we don't want it to burn. Now, if you're making a big quantity, it's obviously harder for it to uh, you know, burn that quickly. But since, as you can see, this is a very small quantity, it is a good idea to keep stirring this continuously. And you will notice eventually uh, it will start to thicken up. You can see it is started to get thick. Now, how do you know it is done? If you're using a food thermometer, then uh, what you're looking for is 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also 82 degrees Celsius. Or if you are not using a food thermometer to check for doneness, all you need to do is take a wooden um, spoon, dip it in your lemon curd, nicely mix it. And when you take it out, and you run your finger this impression should stay which means that it is done so the lemon curd is done and I'm going to turn the heat off and take it off the heat so I just took it off the heat and uh, this is the point where I am going to add the bloomed gelatin so just gonna dip my hand in the water grab those gelatin sheets and as you can see this is what they look like after blooming okay so all you have to do is squeeze out the water this is important squeeze the water out and you know bloom gelatin only melts in um, hot temperature so uh, that is why we're going to add it before straining the lemon curd because it is still hot right now since we just took it off the heat so in goes the gelatin and then whisk it till the gelatin is dissolved this isn't going to take long just a few seconds well that's it the gelatin is dissolved and now what i'm going to do is scrape the bowl once And now this is the point when I start adding the butter but before that so you can see what I'm doing I have a glass bowl here into which I am going to strain the lemon curd you see that beautiful color beautiful texture oh. and of course it smells amazing right now it smells like lemons and lots of lemons okay so let's try straining this. The only reason I'm straining this is because there was lemon zest in it. If there wasn't lemon zest, it's not needed. If you're making it properly, then it shouldn't have any lumps in it. But yes, we do need to strain the lemon zest out. And now it is time to add the butter. Again, just keep whisking constantly because you know what happens if you don't mix it up properly? The uh, butter separates from the curd and then it, it's, you know, it doesn't look nice and it doesn't even taste that pleasant. So you want to make sure that the butter is nicely mixed in. The butter also does give a little firmness to the lemon curd, so do the yolks. But um, I just like adding a little bit of that gelatin touch to it. You know, if I want to fill it up in bonbons or use it in tarts, it's just a little, you know, it has that firmness that I personally prefer. There we go, look at that. Look how gorgeous this is. See the color? Isn't that pretty? So 
all the butter is melted in and very nicely mixed. Now all I'm going to do is uh, usually I like cooling it down totally, completely before using it in anything. So uh, I'm going to cover this with cling wrap and again like I say not uh, from the top. I'm going to be touching the surface of the cling wrap with this lemon curd so that the skin doesn't form on the top. The skin is not pleasant, you've nicely strained it, it's shiny, it's silky spoon and then when you, you know, you get the skin on top, um, it kind of gets mixed in which is not good. So I'm going to cover this up with cling wrap, touching the surface, let it cool at room temperature and then I will probably use it to fill up my uh, tarts or have some tart shells. And I'm also going to be making uh, lemon bonbons, so <laughs> I really needed this lemon curd. So I'll let this cool down and then I'm going to use it. If you don't happen to use the lemon curd all in one go, if you have some leftover, not to worry, you can store it in an airtight container for up to two weeks in the refrigerator. And uh, you know, you can take it out, just give it a little whisk before using it and it is ready to use. Um, you, I wouldn't recommend freezing lemon curd because somehow when you defrost it, it is not the same. It does get a little liquidy, which I'm personally not very fond of. So you can either make small quantities or use it within two weeks of making it. So that's it for the lemon curd. Enjoy this wonderful recipe. It is absolutely beautiful. One of my personal favorites and I would really recommend trying this one out. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.